right now I'm coming down this long pothole filled driveway to an abandoned house. This abandoned house, I was looking at it on the satellite map. It was lived in, and this yard was nice, taken care of, and beautiful just four years ago. Then something happened. It became boarded up, and now it's been vandalized. There's holes in the roof, some graffiti. Let's hope no one else is here. Someone else has recently been here. It's just snow, it's okay. Think someone else has been here exploring? Or do you think these are tracks from the police coming in here monitoring it? Maybe we can take a quick look at this house and property. The street view of this place showed it lived in and beautiful just back in 2019. All right, everyone, we have this beautiful house here and maybe a guest house here. We're gonna quickly go in, try to explore. The sad thing about this property is it was nicely taken care of and mowed just back in 2019. Gotta be careful we don't step in nails and stuff. It's a good thing there's not much snow. I'm just gonna take a quick peek in the garage. Building's collapsing. Lots of junk in here. The unfortunate thing is, I'm, re I'm realizing Canada has a lot more graffiti and vandalism, even in the very rural areas. There's a lot of garbage here, but this is just stuff from the house. I love this stucco house. These buildings are very, very beautiful. Gotta be careful of roofing nails because I am stepping over shingles. See, the buildings were boarded up when it was abandoned, but kids come out here with spray paint and throw rocks and objects through the buildings, which is very unfortunate. We're gonna take a quick look in the small house right now because the door is wide open. Anyone in here? These houses were built good. Look how thick this flooring is. Anyone in here? We're just exploring. Lots of poop right there from an animal. So this looks like it probably used to be a house. Hasn't been in a while. Looks like it was just used for storage in the later days. Look at that, there's bird nests between the glass and the exterior. Yeah, that's very rotted through. I doubt that happened since 2019. But this building here, it still has very, very strong structural bones, even in this condition, because this is when houses were built to last a long, long time. So now we're gonna walk over to the really big house. And it's such a beautiful property. Yes, it's next to the Loud Highway, but it's right on the water. It's got beautiful rocks. This yard could easily be mowed. This house is fixable. It's still got strong bones. Really nice property. Look at this beautiful big deck. And there's a sign there. It says it's for sale. So there's not a single no trespassing sign. So we're going to check it out. Such a nice deck. All this vandalism happened in the, just the past four years. 2019 street view from that bridge showed this place being real nicely taken care of. See the vegetation's not much. Just mowed a few years ago. Now it's got graffiti, every window smashed. But you see how the roof is caving in? Someone was probably living here with it starting to decay. Let's go in for a little bit. Got a couch. Lots of animals have been living in here.
beautiful, beautiful house. Oh, ho, ho, wow. Pigeons. At least we know there won't be anyone else in here because they would have scared them away. Whoa. Look at all the ash. People been coming in here for years having fires, but not a single person bothered to pick up one of the shovels in the garage and make room. Look at all the nails. People are burning studs, ripping out pieces of the house to burn. Whoa! More pigeons. At least we know now there's no one else in the house. The shower full of water bottles. Someone smashed the toilet. Oh my gosh. There is a poop inside the smashed toilet. Look at that. Look at that. No one smashed the shower door. Oh look, the, the bathroom has two doors. Nice entryway. Beautiful layout, see? You can access this bathroom from either side. Look at the really old skeleton door keys. Anyone in here? Just exploring. Wow, this would have had an awesome kitchen. But look, someone smashed everything. They smashed the microwave. So much vandalism. Maybe someone trying to steal some copper wires, but I think it's just vandalism because it's in random spots. Look how beautiful this is. Got the hydroelectric dam right there. Beautiful view of the water. Let's head on upstairs. Anyone upstairs? Just exploring. Look at this, they covered the beautiful wooden stairs with carpet. Maybe they had children they didn't want getting hurt. Beautiful wood floors. Look how small the boards are. It's usually more expensive when you have that done. This room is destroyed. Look at this. Look at all the water damage and insulation. I love this beautiful hutch, closet, whatever you want to call it, built in like that. This house has such character. Wow, are these beer bottles? Looks like an alcoholic's been hanging out in this room. What's in this closet? Oh my gosh, that's cool, look at this. The closet goes through to the next room. Yep, people were just having fun smashing holes. Didn't even have interest in the copper wire. Look at the beautiful view from this bedroom. And look at the rotted out porch. Got a little closet. Even the closet has a window. You never see this kind of detail in a new house. Love this place. Wow. I'd love to own a house like this. Someone smashed the railing off. Just really bored kids. Bathroom with two sinks. Would have been a beautiful bathroom. Look at this. You have hallway access, bedroom access to the bathroom. A, is this, yeah, there would have been a separate door so someone could take a shower. A pocket door, actually. Look at that. Pocket door still works nicely. Here's that other room that shares that closet. Lots and lots of water damage. So the water damage likely was already started a couple years ago. Then they abandoned it. Wow, look at this big door. Hopefully we don't get locked in here. Some magazines and stuff. Wow, this is so cool. Look at the amount of magazines. Wow, the amount of magazines. I would love to have a house like this with such character. The windows up here, there's no chimney between them. That kind of reminds me of the house from Amityville Horror. Look at this. They even had a nice hardwood floor in the attic. 
This could potentially be turned into living space with another attic above it if you wanted to put a ceiling here and another floor. This roof or this ladder was likely somewhere for roof access. Beautiful building. Wow, this side does have the chimney. We gotta go take a look at it from that side when we go outside. Look at this, rotting through. So maybe this house was already on its way out, but in 2019, it didn't have a single broken window. That is not natural decay at all. Someone is, was responsible for vandalizing this place. Yeah, look, there was even tarps. When the people lived here, they knew the roof was leaking and they put tarps here to try to prevent it from coming through into their living quarters. Look, there was even heat up here at one point, it looks like. Or maybe they were just venting the bathroom fan into the attic. Some people who install them themselves like handyman work, they'll just vent it into the attic. A big attic like this, if you leave the windows open, there's lots of stuff going through. Um, lots of air going through. It probably wouldn't be a problem in this situation. It's all real wood. Look at there's wasp nest and stuff. It's all real wood, so there wouldn't really be an issue with that in this situation. Wow, look when the house was built. 1933. This is one of the nicest houses I've ever built. I've never explored. Nice. I love this place. What's this pipe going around? Is that for heating, I'm assuming? The attic was slightly heated. This is cool. I'm so glad I stopped to take a look at this house. Beautiful building. Such a shame. It's still got very, very strong bones, I'll tell you that. Is there a basement? I don't see a basement door. Maybe you gotta enter through the outside somewhere. Nope, here it is. Anyone down there? We're just exploring. Stay here for a sec. Anyone down here? Look at the amount of water bottles from people staying here. It looks like they were planning on finishing it at one point. It's got two fuel oil tanks which are leaking on the floor. This room right here may have been for coal back in the day. A coal room. There's a giant furnace, water heater. Oh, look, a fuel oil water heater. Those are rare actually, but they last much longer than the other types and they're actually the most efficient to run. Looks like whoever lived here's workbench. There would have been a wood stove down here too. Yeah, look at the wood on the walls. They were gonna finish this at some point, but looks like they never did. Look at all the water balls there. Someone was hanging out in here. Oh, you didn't see the bedroom full of beer cans upstairs. So this right here, it looks like they made it into a bedroom maybe. Oh wow. Maybe there was a bathroom or something in here at one point. I think this used to be a coal room. Before oil, they would have shoveled coal into this whole room. The, this oil's leaking. I wouldn't be surprised if someone tried taking oil and caused it to leak. This is a cute birthday bag. Huh? This is a cute birthday bag. It has pandas all over it. Yeah, even though it's been abandoned, this basement doesn't have any flooding issues, it looks like. So every time we explore these places, it's always a little scary doing the first walkthrough. You never know who could be in here. But, now that we explored it, I feel a bit safer walking around. Beautiful stone fireplace. Let's go get a little bit of footage walking around it. Let's make sure it's safe to walk on this porch. Being very careful. 
shut my flashlight off and let's go take a look I love these big rocks in the yard big flat rocks I see an electrical insulator on that pole wonder what they had so this looks like a river water is definitely flowing definitely is there was a hydro dam I just showed looks look at the rocks over there water level can often get a bit higher the kids old power wheel still got the battery in it it's a beautiful house it's got a chimney on both sides so nice look over here by the water beautiful place to go swimming surprised it doesn't have a dock look at all the nice rocks in this person's yard this would have been such a beautiful house. Gotta be careful where we walk. There's random holes, maybe wells, maybe the septic tank. It's still got strong bones. Hopefully someone saves it. It's a beautiful property. And you can't even hear the highway noise. All I can hear is the rapids coming out of that hydroelectric dam. So, at least it's muffled with something pleasant. Cool house. Got a lot of moss over here on these rocks. Oh, I didn't even notice this fireplace. Look at it, it's quartz. It's quartz, that is so awesome. You didn't even notice it was quartz. Beautiful place. And look, here's a little go-kart. Look at this. Never seen stucco inside a house or actually, no, that's just plaster. It's even got mushrooms growing out of it because this is underneath the area where it's been leaking for quite a while. Lots of water bottles. People been in here for a while. Look at this everyone. Easy access to the septic, I think this is. Ew, poo poo. That is the septic tank. Really nice access. I know my septic tank, I gotta dig like five feet to get to it when it needs to be pumped. Look at this, there used to be a nice rope swing at some point for the kids that used to live here. I like this rocky yard. If it was all weed whacked and maintained, it would have looked beautiful. I'll share some pictures at the end of this video of what the place used to look like. So this, I figure, used to be a house, right? Very primitive house. It doesn't look like it's ever had plumbing. There's no evidence of that. There is wiring. It's just got a little crawl space cellar. Even this dresser, look how nice this dresser used to have been. Nice detail. This probably used to be a little teeny kitchen. Old electrical work with fuses. It only had two fuses in the whole little house. And this is old quality furniture that was to be fixed up. Even the staircase, look how thick and solid the staircase is. I've been in new houses, the staircase shifts around just walking up it. What's this say? Floats for sale. Phone number. Maybe whoever used to live here used to sell floats because they're so close to the water. Even this area that's obviously been leaking for many, many years, the floor is not even rotted out. That's what happens when you build with quality materials instead of press board and chipboard floors. These are solid two by six. Most houses now would just have a subfloor of chipboard, three quarter inch, and call it a day. But when it's solid like this, you can walk around the house, you can jump and you don't feel it really through the building. In my house, if someone jumps up and down, the whole building kind of shakes from it. Those new houses aren't built this nice. That's why old houses like this 
Watch it, there's nails sticking up. Old houses like this. Maybe this guy got that mirror busted off by hitting a deer. I know I've almost hit a few deer around here. Old houses like this will sit for 50 years and still be safe to walk around inside them. A new house, once it starts leaking a couple of years, you'll fall through the floors because it's made out of fake material chipboard held together with glue, which isn't waterproof. It's strong until it starts leaking. These oak trees are beautiful. This whole property would be nice, cool, and shady. All right, everyone, we're gonna head on out. There's one more abandoned building down the road I wanna see if we can get access to. This place did not have a single no trespassing sign, and it had a massive sign pointing at the highway saying it's for sale. So we came to have a look. I hope today's video of exploring this awesome, quality built house was interesting. Thanks for watching and have a great day. We're gonna make one more big crunch right here. It looks like some maybe someone with a snow plow pushed and lifted up. Maybe that's very smart of them. Maybe this big crunch is supposed to be the warning of another vehicle coming in. Look how nice and long this driveway is too. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone, here's another abandoned structure right down the road I just want to take a quick look at before the sun goes down. Here's a truck someone parked near the highway just to put a billboard on. Lots of papers, paint cans, old billboards. Looks like maybe there was even another sign on the other side of it. Wow, look at that. There's a whole bunch of newspapers that never got delivered, still bundled together. Look at the tree coming up. It's even choking itself coming through the rusted out floor. The windshield smashed by vandalism. There's a really big excavator across the street. Look at that. This building is also heavily vandalized, but it has no trespassing signs, so we'll stay away from it. Take a look at this beautifully built shed. Look at the beautiful stonework. The roof might be starting to rot, and the roof is even made with logs, which is even cooler. It's got a teeny window in it. This is an awesome shed. That would make a cool little cabin. People have been going in here. I see some old footprints. Wow, look at the door. It kind of looks like a solitary confinement cell or something, too. There's a vacuum cleaner, a table. This may have been an old fruit cellar, too. What else is in here? Old water heaters. Love this thing. The walls are so thick, too. This building might actually be holding this tree up. This tree may have fallen over. It's definitely sitting on it. It's got a metal roof. The wind kind of blew some of it off, or maybe someone tried to steal it for scrap. Let's go check this building out. This stone building is really, really cool. I love the rocks. Very, very careful on this deck. Careful of nails. Walk only where we know the supports are. Right here. And this sign is also some support. Wow. Look at the pattern on that couch. That's kind of cool. Lots and lots of brand new styrofoam cups. Lots and lots of them. This was definitely a restaurant. You gotta be very careful of the floor. There was probably a little wood stove sitting here. Hooked up to that. Fake wood floor. Sticky tile. Completely gutted and dark and scary. My big flashlight we were just using in the that big house is it burned out. Anyone in here? We're just exploring. Here's a sink. There's a water cooler. Lots more cups. I have a feeling whoever owned this place maybe was a plumber. That's why they left over stuff and random disconnected fixtures. 
it could be the case. Make sure it's safe. The floor is a little bit soft. There was another wood stove in here at some point. One more room. Empty. All right, we're gonna go back out now. Light off. Back to panoramic. Just wanted to check out this little shack too. The amount of reusable things. Look at this. These are like the containers you put french fries in. So maybe it was a hot dog stand, french fry stand. Yeah, see? Like french fries, maybe they're little takeout boxes. That's a possibility. Definitely a little restaurant at some point. Got a barn swallow nest up on top of the, used to be a ceiling fan, but the blades were broken off. Gotta be careful walking back out here. Just walk where my other footprints are, where we know the supports are. Wow, this glass is really thick, look at that. Nice big bushes. Another pretty nice property. Too bad it's right next to the highway. Thank you everyone for sticking to the end of the video for this extra abandoned building. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great day.